Well, you've likely used one of the self-checkout lanes that have been installed in stores right across Canada, but are they more convenient or are they just cumbersome? Now, some retailers are choosing to remove the automated lanes altogether. Sophia Harris on what's motivating the move. Love it or hate it, self-checkout has become a fixture in retail. Um, several retailers have even experimented with an all-self-checkout format. So it may surprise you to hear that some stores are now bucking the trend and returning to an all-cashier, full-service format. Uh, for example, Canadian Tire in North Bay ditched its self-checkouts in July. Uh, the general manager there said uh, there were issues with theft and more importantly, the machines just weren't the right fit for the store. Canadian Tires carry so many big products, whether it's snow blowers, gazebos, generators, don't really lend themselves to self-checkouts per se. Other stores that have recently ditched their machines include a Canadian Tire in the Toronto area and three Walmarts in the U.S. And in England, um, Boost supermarket chain is phasing out self-checkout in all its stores. Boost says it's responding to customer demand. But retail advisor David Ian Gray says he believes the main reason some stores are pulling their machines is due to theft at self-checkout. It's just that you, there's so many ways you can game the system. And the one thing about shoppers is we're good gamers. Now, those with good ethics aren't going to steal. But there are times at a frustration where a shopper would be trying to enter a code. It's not taking. There's no one to help them. They have to get out of there. So that's part of it. Uh, but more and more, we're seeing a lot of organized theft. According to a new U.S. survey, 15% of shoppers polled said they have stolen at self-checkout at least once. Still, Gray says self-checkout isn't going away. Instead, he suggests that rather than pulling all their self-checkout machines, many stores may remove some and add more cashiers so that shoppers feel they have more choice. Sophia Harris, CBC News, Toronto.